the system will automatically assign transaction numbers. First, you'll enter the fuel sales. Sales can be recorded by grade total, which is what you see here. Or, if you prefer, you can set up each pump meter separately and enter new gallons. Commander will calculate the gallon sold by comparing that entry to the previous meter entry. The retail fuel price from the last shift report entry is the default. You can override it with a new price, or you could have set up that new price in Commander's Customer Pricing Program. If there has been a meter calibration, you enter the pump test gallons here. Those gallons go back into the UST inventory. When finished with fuel sales entry, save the entries. Next, we will enter the retail department totals. You simply key in the totals off the shift report or the Z tape. Commander calculates the taxes that should have been applied to the sales in the store. And then you save this work and you go to the next step. If you allow in-store charge accounts, you can enter the retail charge tickets here. If you don't remember the account ID number, this field is searchable. You can enter a brief note. This notation will appear on the customer statement. Now we are ready to pull all three elements together into a single store invoice. Anything that appears in these smaller panes on the left represent transaction batches that have been previously entered but not yet combined into a store invoice. You can pull them in in any way you need to. and then you move them onto the invoice. You can move them off the invoice and make other selections by using the Remove buttons. The last thing you do is tell Commander how this invoice will be paid. So first we will apply credit cards. This screen shows all credit card credits that are available for consumption by this location. The default is for all batches to be taken, but it is easy to deselect all and then choose individual line items to put against this invoice. Notice the running totals on the upper right. You apply your selections. Then you make as many other payment selections as necessary. Commander has a feature called Payment Groups. These are predefined types of payments that are allowable. A payment GL account not in this store's payment group cannot be used. This prevents the accidental application of brand-specific payment types such as coupons or prepaid cards from being applied by locations not selling that brand of fuel. We are going to put the balance of this invoice to accounts receivable. Notice that if you have made a mistake in application of payments, you can select the payment row that's an error and just click on the Delete Payment button. This even works if you misapply credit cards. In this case, you just go back to the credit card selection screen and choose the ones you want and proceed again. This is the default accounts receivable term we have set up for this account. You could change it by using the drop-down list, but if you do, an event or exception is recorded on the event log. The difference showing on the upper right is the amount we need to put to AR in order to balance the collections for this invoice and to finalize it. You can apply one-time or infrequent discounts to invoices by entering something here. You can establish a date on the fly after which the discount does not apply. So now we are in balance, so we save our entries. Commander confirms that our entries are balanced, so our invoice is complete. Commander automatically takes you back to the shift report screen where you click on the report button in order to see and print this invoice or previously entered invoices. The default for this program is to show you your most current work. Notice that the filtering options will let you retrieve and view or print any store invoice from history. There is no time limit on Commander's retention of store invoices or any other kind of invoice.
A C-Store invoice will show the fuel sales first. Notice the cost header. Printing the cost of the fuel is an option that can be turned on or off by location. For a company-operated C-Store, there is no point showing the cost of goods sold, but in the case of a consignment dealer, you might do so. Then the non-fuel retail sales show, and the taxes on sales show, and then the collections, and a recap of fuel sales with each grade's contribution to the sum. This is a multi-page document. The last page is the credit card application summary, or what is called the voucher. The same credit card summary is on consignment billing, too. For store operations that are adequately handled by manual input of store activity at the home office, Commander offers a very good and affordable solution.